Okay, for day one, I'm going to be getting rid of this Cuisinart electric kettle, and it still works, but the lid won't stay down, which is really annoying. So uh, this was something that I had in my office that I brought home, and we have the exact same kettle over here, which is completely functional. Yeah, this is just annoying, and couldn't figure out how to fix it. Uh, it is time to let it go. So that is day number one. Okay, so for day number two, I'm going to be getting rid of this metal uh, lemon squeezer, citrus juicer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can see the paint or enamel is chipping off there, and we have since replaced it with a uh, different one, so we no longer need that. And uh, this pair of pot holders that were kind of stained, and we have since replaced those as well, so they were just sitting in a cupboard um, not being used. So we will be getting rid of these two kitchen items for day two. And I should mention, I don't think I said yesterday that the kettle, we will be taking to Goodwill. Uh, it is still functional, it's just annoying, so uh, someone else may get use out of it and not mind that the lid doesn't shut. And uh, this I think we can put in the recycling maybe, I think it's metal, I don't know um, what they'll do with it. but. Um, I don't know if it's safe with the paint chipping off um, to be used. And these, I don't know what Goodwill would do with these. Um, I think I will send these there though because um, if they don't decide to resell them, I think they do uh, recycle um, fabric material. So this could, you know, go into some sort of um, second use um, recycled fabric product, I guess. Uh, so that is the plan for uh, these guys. So for day three, I have these three pairs of pants on the left here. And I've had these for uh, quite a few years. These were um, all the same style. And these were from Land's End. They're um, a Ponty, I think that's how you say it, type of fabric. And um, they're really great work pants because they're really stretchy, really comfortable. Uh, so I've had these, I want to say upwards of like five years, maybe four or five years. They were starting to wear, and um, so I'm quite tall. I'm like 5'10", uh, but even these were a little long on me. So you can see these ones, the um, hem actually fell out, and I uh, re-hemmed them myself. And uh, you can see in the, the crotch region here... Um, how the material is starting to kind of pull apart there and um, like on the back here. So anyway, so I just don't feel like they're nice enough for work anymore. And these other two pairs, like I said, these are all the same style. Um, and these weren't hem, so you can see the bottom bits here actually were fraying. Kind of felt like I was in high school where everyone had like super long jeans um, that ended up like this, so yeah. Both of these are like that. So I just feel like they're, they're too worn. It's time to let those go. And um, I think I will be sending them to Goodwill, like I've said before. Uh, I think if Goodwill can't resell an item of clothing or fabric, it will um, send it to like a processing unit that will, I don't know, turn it all into like pulp and like reuse it for insulation or whatnot. Um, I did want to show you that uh, because those are my sort of staple work pants, um, I can wear jeans, but sometimes I like to wear something a little bit nicer. Um, so these are my replacement, uh, and you can see these are from Ann Klein. Uh, I just purchased two of these um, from Nordstrom, so I think I'm going to go from three pairs to two pairs. So at least I'm downsizing somewhat, even though these are kind of staples. I feel like even if you have a capsule wardrobe, a good pair or two of black pants is, um, is a good thing to have on hand. Uh, so it's kind of like one in a spare. So these do say dry clean, unfortunately, and I posted these on my Instagram. And the really great thing about these, um, you can see here, so that's my size, um, and I do feel like they're true to size. They're still very comfortable. They're still that like ponty, stretchy material. Um, but these retail, I got these at Nordstrom, and they retail for $89, but I think I got both pairs for $35 each. So $70 for two pairs of work pants I think is a great deal. I think that's like a 60% savings maybe. So I don't know if they're still on sale, but uh, I've purchased these at two different points 
Uh, they said that they were price matched. So, so if you are interested in these, I will link to them below. And if they aren't on sale when you see this video and you are interested in them, um, just, I don't know, do like a, uh, a shopping alert or whatever app you use to um, get notified when they do go on sale. Because I think for $35, um, these are a really great pair. And uh, like I said, they are dry clean, but since I bought a second pair, I think I'm going to try to wash these on cold in the gentle cycle, uh, wash them inside out uh, to uh, see if I can wash them at home because dry cleaning is just really a pain and it gets expensive. So, so that is day three. I'm getting rid of those three pairs of pants, even though I am replacing them. I think this is a staple that I should have in my wardrobe. Okay, so for day four, I'm getting rid of four travel toiletries. I guess you could maybe count this as one if you were so inclined, but I'm going to count it as two different ones. Uh, so these are all full, or at least mostly full, uh, so they're not empties, but uh, they are all expired. So these two, I think, expired in February of 2018. It is now July. I think I got these in like a birch box or something. This also expired in February, so not too bad as far as clearing things out. And then this one expired in September of 2017. Uh, so this one was still in its little box. It was another like beauty box sample or whatever, so... Never got around to using this, and uh, to be honest, I probably have items in my collection that are older that are expired, but uh, they don't necessarily say that. So I do appreciate that these had expiration dates, and it helps hold me accountable. So uh, one question I did have for you guys, when you have a bottle like this that is recyclable, but it's full, do you just toss the whole thing in the recycling, or do you empty it first? I think I might pour it down the drain, but if you have any thoughts or information about that, I would appreciate it uh, just for future reference. So uh, that is day four. Okay, so this is day five. I have two skirts and three pairs of black shoes. So I tried on both of these skirts, and not only do they no longer fit, but the hems on both of them have fallen out. So uh, this was from Ann Taylor Factory, and I probably purchased this gosh, I don't know, like six or seven years ago. And this was a linen like pencil skirt from Brooks Brothers. Those no longer fit and they need some repairs. So I think I'm going to send those to Goodwill and not uh, thread up like I would if they were in good condition. Uh, so someone at Goodwill, hopefully who is handy with a needle and thread can just make those uh, minor repairs and be able to enjoy them. So uh, two skirts and then I have these three pairs of black shoes. I feel like you can't really go wrong with black shoes. Uh, I do have another pair of black pumps so I don't need these. I don't, I haven't actually really worn these. Uh, you can see on the soles there hopefully uh, they're pretty much brand new. So I have another pair that I prefer. And these I just tried on, they do kind of pinch my feet, so I'm just not using those. A good rule of thumb is if you have a pair of shoes in your closet that is dusty and that you haven't ever really worn, then it's probably safe to either donate or sell them. So those are from Naturalizer, that's a uh, nine and a half, which is my normal size. And then I also have this pair of wedges from Nine West. I think I said in my last video that I am quite tall, I'm about 5'10". Uh, so I don't really wear heels that often because I don't feel the need and uh, they're not as comfortable. So uh, this pair of wedges, I think they're suede uh, from Nine West, I've never really worn. And they are more comfortable than the Naturalizer, but I just tried them on. They were kind of slipping everywhere on the carpet because they have that kind of sole. They don't have the rubber sole. So I will be sending these to thread up as well. And these I put on the paper towel because I think I have worn them, although not, not all that much. They're kind of sticking. So I think they're still in pretty good shape. I think this was a design feature of the sole and not wear that I did. So like I said, I think I have worn them maybe a few times, but not, not to bits. Um, the sole on the front is separating a little bit, so... I don't know if these are up to uh, thread up standards, but I can give it a shot. And I think if they don't accept something for resale, they will donate or uh, dispose of them 
uh, responsibly. And these are, I think, eight and a halfs for whatever reason. I don't know if I purchased my normal size and they were too large, so I had to size down, but uh, I just tried them on and they are quite snug. So I will be sending those off as well. And these are also from Naturalizer. And I just wanted to quickly show you guys my current pair of black flats. I haven't talked about these in a video. I purchased these in April, I believe, so it's been about... I guess three months, and these are pretty much the only pair of black flats uh, that I've worn. These are from Rothy's, and they have like a a knit or woven uh, kind of nylon material. So they're kind of like a, I guess, athletic shoe. And the really great things about these, not only are they super comfortable, uh, but you can actually machine wash these. So I've washed them a few times, and they've held up uh, pretty well. But yeah, these are these are so great. They're very flat very comfortable to walk in and I think I can give you guys a referral code that would get you $20 off so uh, check in the description box if you're interested in these but uh, yeah I highly recommend them I think they're about give or take $100 depending on if you use a code or not so uh, I do think these are worth the investment they're not leather so uh, they aren't as formal perhaps but I wear these with um, dark jeans to work all the time so I uh, really do uh, recommend these. So for day six, I have six items that come with uh, razors, different accessories. So uh, these are different razor handles, and I already have a razor handle, so I don't need multiples. A uh, different brand that I have another one of, and some like shower uh, caddies and travel holders that I also have multiples of. So unfortunately, all of these will be going into the trash. All right, here is day seven, and I have three different sets of old calendars. So 2013, 2014 slash 15, and another 2015. I have some old business cards in this little box that I'm not going to show you. Uh, this is a business card holder that uh, I received as a gift, and it's not really my style. This is a uh, post-it note dispenser. It has the name of my dad's company on it, so that's why I have this other post-it covering that up. Uh, so it's not something I really care to use or display. So I have a bunch of these, and these are all from my old address, so they're not even useful anymore. So that is day seven. So for day eight, I have these eight sequined hearts that are Valentine's Day decorations, and I don't know where I got these, probably either at Michael's or Pier One. They just aren't my taste. I'm going for a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit less kind of sequins and glitters. So I will be donating these to Goodwill. So for day nine, I have all of this Valentine's Day decor. And for a lot of this, I've never used it, as you can see. Uh, most of this is either from the Target Dollar Spot, Michaels, or Pier One. So as I said yesterday, my style or preference has changed a little bit. So I'm trying to get away from the more glittery and sequin type decor and uh, to be honest the Target dollar spot is not always like the best quality anyway so uh, all of these are like glitter signs you can see these still have the price tag on so I've never even uh, displayed these uh, so I'll be sending those to Goodwill and also have this packet of foam stickers a couple little candle holders from the dollar spot, uh, some felt uh, garland, and this uh, foam kit. I think this was from Michael, so I've uh, never used it, so I thought I can donate that, and hopefully um, some kid can maybe do it with their parent, and it'll be a really nice, fun activity for them. So uh, that is day nine. Okay, so for day 10, I have a bunch of empty boxes that I've been holding on to for whatever reason. So an empty plastic tub that might have been an ice cream container at some point, I don't know. Um, some Godiva boxes, that's a Godiva tin. There's this bed skirt wrapper container, whatever you want to call it. And these plastic zippered pouches that hold bedding. Uh, they can be reused, and I do like to reuse those if they're larger, but this size, I just don't know what I would be able to use it for because it's on the small side, so I'm going to be getting rid of that. Uh, another chocolate box. This was a candle container that I held on to just because I thought the uh, exterior decoration was pretty. I have, this was, I think, a Steam Link box that I held on to, and a box that held my husband's cologne. Another little tin here that held mascaras, and finally another Godiva 
box. So that is 10 items that I will be recycling. So for day 11, I have a variety of different uh, scrapbooking paper, stamps, and washi tape. And I will be donating these to a local teacher, so hopefully she and her colleagues uh, can get good use out of these. So uh, washi tape, kids can use this for crafts. This is a stamp set, which I never opened. And uh, like I said, the scrapbooking papers. This one's still in the plastic, and this one uh, has some glitter papers and stuff in there. So that is day 11. All right, so day 12, I have 12 empties. And if you don't normally watch beauty videos, you may not be familiar with what sort of an empty is. But uh, basically, these are items that normal people would put in the recycling right away when they're done with them. But beauty YouTubers feel the need to hold on to them until they film a video. So uh, I am counting this as a decluttering, even though uh, some people would just consider this trash or recycling uh, material. So uh, just to quickly go over these, uh, these are mostly items that I've talked about in either previous empties or hauls or that sort of thing. So uh, some pretty typical products for me. So I have two packs of the Shiseido cottons that I went through. So those are my all-time favorite cotton pads for removing eye makeup and applying toner or whatever, that sort of thing. Uh, I have a empty pack of the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes uh, makeup remover wipes and I just use these to remove either swatches or like if I put foundation onto my hand uh, before applying it, that sort of thing. So I don't use these to remove makeup on my face, but I do use these uh, to remove makeup on my hand. So have those. A couple deluxe samples of the Ultra Repair Cream. I have a full size now that I picked up in a QVC set. So. Uh, this is really good if you have eczema. I use it as like a body moisturizer. I don't like it as much on my face. I feel it's a little bit too thick, but I do like to use it as a body moisturizer. A couple bottles of the Seabooth Clean Vanilla Bean Body Wash. It's the English version there. Uh, so this is a nice sulfate-free body wash. Again, if you have eczema, it's good to have a sulfate-free body wash. And it lathers really well. It smells like I said, it's clean vanilla. So my husband will use this as well. It's not too girly or anything. So I've uh, gone through lots of those. Have some of the Paula's Choice Resist Advanced Replenishing Toner. Really nice toner, moisturizing toner. And the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. Another product I've been through many, many a tube of. The Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser for my makeup brushes. And then I have a sort of deluxe size of the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, really nice cleanser, uh, works well with like the Clarisonic, and it's not overly stripping or anything like that, so nice cleanser. And then finally, a deluxe size of the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Conditioning Mask, Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. And like I've showed you guys in hauls and empties and that sort of thing, uh, it smells like pistachios and it's green, so that's kind of the distinguishing factor of this. But it's a really nice uh, silicone-free hair mask, so highly recommend this as well. So those are 12 empties that I will be putting right into the recycling bin. So that is day 12. So this is day 13, and here I have 13 different notepads and post-its, mostly from the Target dollar spot. You can see... Uh, this one here was actually from the brand posted, but I haven't used these. I don't have any immediate plans to. A lot of these are like holiday themes, so I'm going to be donating these to a local teacher and uh, she can share them with her colleagues. So that is day 13. So this is day 15 and I have a variety of different makeup brushes that are still in their packaging. So some of these I got with like Ulta gifts with purchase and you can see there's a lot of e.l.f. ones. I think I purchased those around the same time and they've just been sitting in a drawer unopened. So obviously I don't need them so I will be passing them along to uh, people who can hopefully get some good use out of them. So I think I'm going to divide these between the Project Beauty Share box that I will be sending off and uh, the giveaway that I will be doing. So if you are interested in receiving some makeup brushes, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for my giveaway video. So that is day 15.